stories about water and urban places, this is ID Anthro. Hey everyone, and welcome back to ID Anthro. I have a new favorite bioretention system. Sorry to Hoyland Street, sorry to Coomera Waters, sorry even to the Ainsley Street bioretention system that taught me so much early on in my career. I have found something that blew my mind. Today, I've been out, I'm in Noosa, been doing condition inspections of their bioretention systems, and I stumbled across this, and I just want to share it with you. And this, this, is the system. Check that out. How many times on ID Anthro have we talked about trying to turn bioretention systems into an ecosystem? And we've got systems that are heading this direction, Hoyland Street, Coomera Waters are heading there, but this system takes it to an entirely new level. If you're interested in coming to this, I will stick the asset ID from the Worcester Asset Map up on the screen now, but I'm gonna take you through a few features. So firstly, really dense plant cover. Lots of plants in here. That's pretty, pretty standard for some of Hoyland and, and uh, Coomera Waters. Diversity of tree species. We've got Casuarinas. We've got Banksias there. There are some Melaleucas kicking around. There's a Melaleuca in the background over. That's a Melaleuca there. There are other species that I don't know. Next up, really few weeds in here. We come in, we've got a few bear patches. The interesting thing, this system, is triangular shaped. So down that end, where the where the canopy on the batters closes in, much more shade, really closed in, really tight, really beautiful. Come down this end here, a little bit more open, a few more gaps up in the canopy there, a little bit more open, but we've got casuarinas. So where there is open space, the casuarina needles are keeping the weeds down. There's a few little weeds down in here, but nothing major at all. Now let's come across and look at the batter. No, not the batter, the overflow weir. Tracking over here, tracking, 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 tracking. Check this out, overflow weir, it's almost completely blended into the, the world. You can see it is up there. Sorry about the colors a little. It is keyed into the batter up there. It's a rock gabion. You know what the most amazing thing is? These ferns, these ferns are recruiting all by themselves onto the overflow weir. How awesome is that? Come on, let's have a wander up here. Casuarina needles and the like all over them too. Check out these little fellas. Woo! Some more down there. How cool is that? That's the natural bushland off to the side. Oh, guess what? This doesn't look too dissimilar. The natural bushland's got a little bit less in the understory because it's not full of lamandras. But the canopy's kind of similar. Funny that, if this is all naturally recruiting into here. Okay, let's head back up the other way. Now, this is all fed by overland flow from the road. So there's a couple of, a couple of inlets over on that batter. We actually walked in one of them. There's a couple more further up that way. But let's head back up towards what I term the top of the system here, because it's kind of higher up in the catchment. Coming through, bust through some lamanges. Now start to see this, because we've got this canopy, because it's been here for a while, we're starting to see some trees come over. So we're starting to get some like harder, more long-lived organic matter dropped in there. We've, uh, actually this is worth having a look at. I took some filter media samples. So check out this, the filter media itself at the bottom actually appears pretty sandy and pretty standard but over time it has developed this sedimenty layer on the surface there oh checked out there's a bee trying to attack my camera bye bye mr oh you're not a bee you're like a you're a big stinging fly thing anyway uh so it's got this surface level this surface layer that's built up on the top of it it's up to nearly 100 mils thick in some points it's not that thick here but you know, it's still draining through, it's doing nicely, and look at all the roots, loving it. Check out all the roots in that. Look at all of them. Look at how happy those trees are in that. And there's lots of roots down in the filter media itself too. So continue through, organic matter getting washed around, the plants are loving it. Come through a little further. Check out all this debris. Seriously, do you reckon this system could possibly ever get erosion on it with all this fallen woody debris in here capturing all this leaf litter? There's no way that this system's ever going to have any erosion in it because that's just gonna slow and spread the water. It's absolutely beautiful. And in the long run, it's adding organic matter into the soil, creating a little bit of an ecosystem. Now, let's see if I can focus in on this fellow. Let's go. Where are you? Come on. Does Jack know how to use his focus on his camera? Not really. You see this little spider, little 
Hey, there we go. Check it out, check it out. I'm actually gonna wander around the other side of him. Try not to disturb his web. Just the biodiversity. Ah, oh, here we go. Aren't you the most beautiful little thing in the world? Check that out. So this biodiversity in here as well. Go back onto autofocus. Biodiversity, now come up this end. Speaking of things, this is something that I don't think I've ever seen in a bioretention system before. So the inlets, water can clearly get in. There's a bit of organic matter building up there, but certainly no, uh, no erosion, nothing problematic there. Okay, coming through. Check this out. We spoke of fallen trees before. Come up here. Check out this beauty that has fallen over. It was probably once right on the edge of the batter. Check out that fallen tree coming down here. Hasn't done too much damage coming over. This is one of the concerns that I have had with trees in biotension before, is that if they fall and have a big root ball, they might rip a big hole in the system, but this hasn't. But check this out. Now that we've got this dead, decaying organic matter in here, we've got fungi growing on this. I've never seen that before in a biotension. This is an ecosystem, and I love it. And because of that, I just had to share it with you. So I hope you found this fascinating. I hope that you enjoyed looking at this wicked bioretention system in Noosa. I will no doubt bring you back here in the future for more stories, more lessons, as this continues to grow and to change. But for now, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. What did I say about wildlife? This is what was on my camera at the end of filming. Pretty cool, hey. Before you go, our best episodes come from your questions. This knowledge base, these discussions that are ID Anthro improve with your contribution. So if there's a topic, an idea, a concept that you would like us to explore, come and ask us. You know where to find us. www.idanthro.com slash contact. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and that place you get your good podcasts from. You know where to find us. We look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you soon.